writer's log, May 19th. It's a bajillion days into the pandemic and everybody's dealing with it a little bit differently. Um, I like to write my way through stressful times and so I've been doing a lot of writing every day and I get really angry when I don't get to write. So we try to make sure I have my writing time every day. But having two kids at home, needing to do their schoolwork every day, a husband who's home sometimes and not home sometimes, it is not the same writing environment that I have gotten spoiled and used to, which is having my own office space and several hours a day to devote my attention to either writing or marketing. And I can't do that quite the same way. So I've had to develop some new techniques. And one of those is because I am a plotter, we've talked about this before, I know what the whole book is about. I may not know every single thing, but I know what the character arcs are, what the plot arcs are, and what some of the major scenes are. And so whether I am writing in bed with a 10 year old next to me, or I'm at the coffee table with both my kids, or at the dining room table with both my kids and my husband, or I get to steal away for a few minutes of alone writing time, I can pick and choose what I feel comfortable writing at that time. And because I also write linearly, what I've been doing is if I get to a scene that it is just not feasible, for instance, a steamy scene, uh, to be able to write it right then, I've created tags that I've been putting into the document. And so if I get, I think we all go through moods where we're really good at writing dialogue or we're really good at writing world building scenes and descriptive scenes or very emotional scenes. And so if I sit down and I'm like, okay, I have 30 minutes I'm really feeling descriptive stuff. I can go to descriptive tags that I've put throughout the manuscript, you know, explain what this room even looks like, or, you know, what is the scene here? And I can just go find the next one, find the next one, find the next one, and load in all the stuff because it's all up here. I just haven't gotten it down yet. And then if maybe it's night and it's quiet and I'm by myself and I'm like, mm, I can fill in those sexy times now. I just go and I find all the sexy times tags and I fill, I write until I'm out of time or I'm exhausted and fall asleep. And so that is how I wrote the book that came out today, Crave. Hi. Um, that, I mean, that's how the book got done was it was, I wrote it linearly like I normally do, but I left tags for every scene that I wasn't capable of writing at the moment that it needed to be written. And so I guess in a way it was technically written non-linearly, but it also really wasn't. So that's how I'm coping with writing in the time of COVID. Um, everyone's doing it a little bit differently. Uh, Lindsay Emery has been challenging herself to write a, a few words every day. And you know, if you've done the NaNoWriMo challenge, a few words every day adds up to a novel much quicker than you realize. And so that's, that's how she's been doing uh, some of her writing. I'm sure everybody's got different tips and tricks. And for some people, it's just not the right time to be writing at all. Last year when I couldn't write, I decided to write 2000 words a week and put it into a weekly serialized newsletter um, story. So regardless of your situation, there is a way for you to find a way to write. Um, try different things. Maybe my techniques will help you. I look forward to hearing what you're doing. Happy writing.